Like I said, know nothing about this at all. Go to create a guy. Ooh! Look at that dude! We got a melee character. Oh, even the mage looks pretty dope. I'm not gonna lie. Rain fireballs near foes. Range. Mage top tier? You think? Alright. If I'm gonna go mage, I gotta go with Nam D because that's my mage name. Got, hey, Roxas, make up your mind, all right? Am I a mage or am I a ranger? Or am I a ra ra rage ma manger? I can only play as one. Wow, this game's loud, bro. Is it loud for you guys like it is for me? This is blowing my ears out. I don't want to make it too quiet. It's not that bad? Okay. Fucking epic, though. All right. Ranger or mage? Let's go. Uh... I guess we're going to go mage. Game settings? Story? Soldier of Fortune. Private game. So this game, I believe, is launching in January and the price is going to go up. Which is why I think someone gifted it to me today. Because it's about to get expensive. Um... And I know that uh, from when I was looking at the uh, store page, that the first act of the game is in is in in its entirety, and that's it. And I think the level cap is twenty, and I think the real game is going to be like a level cap of ninety, and like three acts, and then randomized dungeons and all sorts of crazy stuff. So, I mean, it sounds content complete. I know it's been out for a long time. Uh, so. You know, even though it's early access, the game's coming out in January, so it should be pretty polished, I'd imagine. But, I mean, we're going to find out. That's the joy of trying stuff out for ourselves. Rare treat. I don't really play early access stuff, so this should be fun. Grand Inquisitor Heimlock saved you as well as your childhood friends Valeria and Edric when you were five years old. He drafted you into the Republican Army of Purifiers. All right, the Senate voted to launch a campaign against the Brotherhood. All right. I know all these words so far. Okay, pretty so far. I like that seamless transition. Operation Dawnbane. Oh, that's in game?
Oh, shit! Shield up! Shield up! Shield up! This looks awesome. It looks like an RTS Permission or something. to deal with the players. The clock ticks, Malis. We need to get through to engage the Brotherhood of Dawn before daybreak. We won't make it in time if we're pinned down. Take my children. Silence the archers. The rest will march on. Grand Inquisitor, purity and sacrifice. Siege Langer, now! Oh, whoa, oh, what? Hey. <laughs> Told you Hemlock would send us. Yeah, I'm not betting with you again. Focus! I want those ledges clean! One each, let's go! Time to shine. Forward! Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, okay, hold on, hold on. Left click to attack. Uh, you'll automatically dash attack enemies. Dash for the cooldown. You space to dodge roll. Dodge roll requires stamina. Right click to do powerful electric attack. Okay. Purity in sacrifice. Look, the Republican puppet's trying to. <laughs> <laughs> Get them down! Get them all down! Well, I like that dodge attack. That feels pretty satisfying. You will burn, Republican trash. Well, I like that combat. It feels pretty dynamic because of that roll. Good riddance. We'll fly you alive. Oh, you hear that? You can definitely feel the low budgetness. Of I gotcha. Some of the animations and the cutscenes are a little bit rough, but. And the hit reaction didn't really feel, you know, super, super satisfying. But, you know, it Maybe looks nice. Better than most of these games. We'll lose a lot of men if the cliff collapses. Right now, I'm more worried about these bloody souls being puked out of the earth. Right. Let's keep it together. We move as one and do what we do best. Wait. You smell that? Sulfur. A demon. We can't handle it. We need to get back to the purifiers now. The air's freezing. Soul magic. What the hell happened here? He's one of us. A scout. Hey, soldier, you're right. Where's the rest of your squad? Soldier. Who's alone? He's in shock. Leave him be. Shut up. Who's alone? Shut up! We don't have time for this. Let's move. What the hell is going on? You're going to owe me big time. I praise your resilience, mortal. You will make a fine host. Val, it's now or never. Now, come to me. Come to me and be reborn in service of the sleeper. Purifiers only serve mankind, demon. I do not request. I command. Purity in sacrifice! Oh, I can't beat this guy. Yeah, he's way too strong. I can't. He's too.
too strong. Val, I need you now. Be at peace. For soon, you shall be no more. Apocalyptic form. Uh, okay. Only human after all. Disappoint. I didn't even get to fight like that. You owe me an explanation. Let's go, let's go. Yeah, come in the theaters. All right, hey, I give it to him. You know how many action RPGs have boring as fuck intros? That was something. They try to do some kind of cinematics, even with the limited budget. I could appreciate this. Much better than if I was just walking around a town with dialogue boxes and no voice work. You know what I mean? Like at least they're putting an effort to have some kind of cinematics. I could, I could appreciate what back there? cinematics. I feel different. How is it that I can use witchcraft now? None of this makes sense. Oh, I drank that pouch. Oh, yo, the fire looked pretty dope. Okay, skills. Use skill, right click. Skill requires either willpower or rage. My active skill pressing S. Oh wow, I really don't have much. Alright. Alright. Zvria. They must have pulled me out of the water. But what a vow. Did she drown? Valeria! Val! Well, that magic is pretty nice. Barbarian. All right, armor actually changes how I look. I know, obvious, but you'd be surprised at the games that don't do that. I don't know where the lightning bolt went. Right now I got this weird fire. I mean, it's cool looking fire, don't get me wrong. I do like that my basic attacks lock on. I do like that. I'm guessing I'm gonna be able to choose which element I want, so I'm gonna go lightning as soon as possible. I don't dislike fire, but I've just never been a fire guy, you know? I've never been a scorpion guy. Give me Sub-Zero or give me death. Normally I go earth magic if I get a choice. I like to go earth magic. All party members will be teleported to the event area. Okay. I like this, man. This is cool. I like that there's actual cutscenes going on here. Whoa. You look awfully real for a nightmare. What was that? He's possessed by a demon. Yes. Let's hope you're wrong. Otherwise, talking to yourself again. Speak of the devil. Darling, I need a moment. Talk to you later. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Easy now! Ah! Val, snap out of it! Ah! It's me, damn it! Hush it! Did you knock your head? Who do you expect me to be exactly? 
Oh, I don't know. Some bloody demon. What? No, look. I've no idea what's going on. I was having my ass kicked when something awakened from within to save me. I need help, all right. But I'm not some demon, goddammit. Come on, Val. Oh, really? Prove it. You're a tool. That does not seem like something a demon would say. All right. Point taken. It's like, and, and so I'm a... So what now? Frankly, I don't know. We should regroup with Operation Dawnbane, shouldn't we? In your state? Flinging magic and turning into a monstrosity. No, 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 no. They'll burn you alive. Hemlock wouldn't. Perhaps. But Malus sure as hell will, and with a smile on her face. Oh, look, let's get out of here first, then we'll figure something out. I think it's because, like, in most action RPGs that you play, uh, you're always kind of by yourself. Because it's always assumed that you'll get partners when you play co-op. But they don't do anything for you narratively. So I think, like, regardless of the opening of the Dawn of Brotherhood and the Purify, all that bullshit... It's all matters, like, you can learn all that stuff, but it has to, you gotta have characters first. So I think making you part of a trio and they're actually here with you, even if, you know, who knows, it's probably gonna be limited. They probably won't be with you for long. But I feel like having a party of named characters and um, some cutscene direction goes a long way to pulling you into a game's storyline, you know? Because in this genre, a storyline is almost always like an afterthought. Unless you're playing a Diablo. But for the most part, that's not why people are in the world and doing stuff. 17 all resistance. Allows any weapon to block. You're a tool and people be like, you're a demon. Yeah, I'm not saying the storyline and the writing is the greatest, but still. Oh, they got to adjust that. That's already like a problem. Like it's really finicky to like kind of click on stuff. A winged sphere. They do come in every shape, don't they? Mutations. No matter, they die all the same. Damn right. Oh, I'm dead. Hold space for a second win. Okay. That's a cool mechanic. Also not used to dying in games like this, if I'm being honest. They're usually so easy that that's not a concern. But I guess I have to not stand in that poison. I like that roll. Dude, eight. For willpower to rage. What's this do? I mean, I can try out the bow, even though I'm not a mage. I mean, I'm not a ranger. This place reeks of death. These people are getting torn apart. I don't get it. Oh, but I can't Freya shoot magic. Are normally this bold, not without good reason. That soul demon first, now this. There's something wrong around here. Something very wrong. A demon in the open can only mean that something major is about to happen. But what?
Okay, so it says witchcraft is forbidden in Stormfall. Anyone caught during nefarious cults, during nefarious cults will hang. Okay. We must pull back, which you are exposed. If we do, civilians will get slaughtered. Better them than us. Let us in. We beg you. Mercy. Murderers. Back away. Back away. I know that face. You've got a plan. All right, let's hear it. You need answers. And I don't think Malus will get you anything more than a rope around your neck. So, here's my plan. You wait for me in Stormfall. Easy enough, yes? Meanwhile, I meet up with our forces and I try to talk to Edric about the situation. To see how we can convince our people that you're not a bloody demon. Agreed. I would rather appreciate not being executed. Where do we meet? On the way here, I heard talk of an inn in Stormfall. The Laughing Seagull. I'll meet you there. Keep a low profile till then. Uh, I tried to put on a shirt. Why don't you let people in? For the hundredth time, this city is already filled to capacity with refugees. We are not letting anyone in. Look, I really need to have access. Let me through. That's not how things work, friend. Only conscripts are allowed through. Order of the Merchant Prince Damascus himself. So you want fighters? I will fight. Now stand aside. <laughs> you are serious, my friend. Well, all right then. Go through to the farmlands on the other side of the city. Anyone else want to fight for Stormfall? No. That's what I thought. Okay, leveled up. Now this right here... Is always the critical part of these games, right? How's the leveling system? Leveling system is always going to be a really important piece of these games. For you to open your character sheet, sign points to the four different attributes. All attributes increase by one when you level up. You're given 10 points to assign freely with every level. Three attributes with the most points increase your overall damage output. Okay, so what do we have here? Ferocity, toughness, agility, wisdom. Health regen. Oh. You see, I like this. Because I hate when games are as dry as Diablo 3, where it's like, if you're a wizard, all you need is intelligence, and then nothing else matters. Yeah, I like this, because this is ferocity, right? But this affects the crit chance of my spells. So, if I was playing a game like Diablo, this stat wouldn't mean anything to me as a mage. I'd ignore it. I'd ignore toughness. And I'd probably go right for wisdom. Uh, but the fact that every single one of the four things here has something that's going to affect my spell casting or benefit me, that's when you can start getting into having a build. And as soon as you can have a game that allows you to have a build, you can start to have some depth, some diversity, uh, which is always, always super good. So I'm going to put this up to 10. And then we're going to go with some uh, resistance. I think I'm going to leave agility as a low stat. We also have passives. Oh boy. You're given two passive skill points each time you level up. Up to a total of 38. Sign your points and confirm them. You can turn the, the gates, the gate of fates using the ring interface. Oh man, what is this? Oh, 
that's pretty slick. You can change how the ring is set up. It's like this is more magic. Oh, that's pretty that's pretty bugged out. Huh. That's actually a really neat system. I like that a lot. I like that system. That's actually, I think, really cool. I really like the uh, production value, honestly. It's nice. Nice to see a game try, you know? Stormfall. Jewel of the sea. Let's see what you've got for me. I'm into this. If I was able to play the controller, I'd, I'd, I'd be in this all night. To die. I am not a hero. You hear? It's either that, or we throw you back outside. The... We're gonna have to hook Flocks up with this. We're gonna have to play some co-op. to capacity, huh? Yep. This is a teleporter. Oh, there we go. New weapon. Lightning damage added to my spells. Wait, do I have lightning and fire? Oh, shit. I'll tell you socket items, it looks like. Interacts and skills. You're about to receive Don't an interact. Report to Thunderblade Farad at the battlefront. You can trade interacts with Dimitra for primordial affinity, which used to level up her skills. Oh, here we go. Throw a spinning dual blade. Only usable with daggers, bows, and pistols. Ice Nova. Alright. I'm going to go with the ice over for now. That's what I got. Uh, do I have the money? Hell no, I don't have the money for this. cooldown on this that's sweet man I think this is really sweet I like this a lot 